What's up guys, this is the Brofman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to run off where we left off, we are still advancing through the Balkans and we are finally going to capture the city of Belgrade from Austrian forces. So let's crack on. This army may end up going south towards Greece, because they are at war with us and we can't be having that. So we will take the territory from them and we'll, and we'll probably, um, oh, pardon me. Don't know why my voice got really croaky all of a sudden. Um, but yes, that army, this army will probably end up going south to fight the Greeks. Before I repurpose it to go northwards. Let's pick the Fusiliers to be the core of my army. Actually, I don't know why I've unlimbered them. I need to limber them back up. Because we're on the offensive. And these are only six pounders. So we're probably going to have to move forward. Okay, let's put two foot infantry and one light on the road on the right flank. Two foot, two light on the left flank. Dragoon unit on each side. Howitzer in the middle. General in the middle. So, let's pivot this infantry around. Yeah, let's limber you up, because I don't want you to unlimber and accidentally kill your own men. They are moving up, so I might actually leave these guys to attack. Let's get my cavalry over. Let's get ready to engage this line. So you're actually okay. This unit needs to move around. So right now I want to stretch these troops out so they actually put out more firepower. So I've committed my cavalry just to try hold up their Cheval Leger to allow us to get into position. Let's bring the howitzer over to provide some support. When my light dragoons come over, they will also engage. Um, because it's not really. Mm. Yeah, let's, let's just pivot you guys around like this. Let's probably move. No, no, you're okay there. So I'll let my main line stay where it is. So they have advanced towards my infantry. Old move. Let's pull my dragoons back. And they're gonna get shot off their horses in response. Let's group my dragoons together and oh, no, 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 not you. Cavalry's come back. And our guns are firing. Their lances are moving up. Come on. Stretch you guys out a little bit more. Get the max amount of guns on the target. Actually, you need to shuffle backwards a bit. How much have I done? I'm going to stop slamming doors. So, let's get moving. Straight in. Straight in. So I don't know how many of these are actually going to arrive. Maybe not that many. Potentially not that many. So, the goons have gone in. Smash their line. We will probably break them. I'm not going to unlimber my artillery yet. Because I want to see what else comes in. 
It makes it worth our while calling in. Yep, Slash so Evolager have joined the fray. But it will not be enough, because their troops are dying in significantly huge numbers. And my guys are considerably more experienced, although they may become less experienced following a bit of replenishment as new chaps join in. So wave room. come on, gem fusilier is just about. You've lost loads of troops, and you're very unhappy about it. So the cavalry over here is routed by the looks of it. Yep, infantry's gone. Cavalry's gone. So let's pull pull my cavalry back. So I might actually put my guns back over here. I'm going to come and limber my houses for now to provide some good. And let's take this fusilier unit and slightly rotate it. In case the guns fire in this direction, doesn't plough through my own men. But it looks like that. So off the top of my head, I couldn't remember how big the reinforcement army was. Looks like that's about it. So you guys now form the flank. And these poor companies are going to have... There you go, just speed it up a little bit. How it's the shots are coming in. Unlimber these guns. And we're off. Barrage with canister. Because they're charging in against the guns specifically. Just keep going. Just keep going. Well, the generals inspire them before fleeing the field. He's not fled yet. He was. Keep my gunners. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. Ah, he'll be fine. Well, I mean, he's lost two members of his staff. There we go. They finally made landfall. But I have chosen fusiliers to do it against. These days compared to regular line are just better at every way. Except defence. So they're probably not gonna they're probably gonna lose more men than they would like. But it's still gonna be a win. Good. Push up. There's my general, because my fusiliers are winning. But it would be good if we could give them a bit of a morale boost. Inspire your man. Especially as your general is running around like headless chicken. It isn't very heroic. Bring my cavalry in. Oh dear. I mean, this is two units of. It's one unit of fusiliers is facing down an entire infantry unit. Two entire units, I should say. So. Give him some support, lads. Let's bring in another unit of fusiliers. Oh, 
General's pulling his tricks again, wherever he is. Oh no, he's at the back here somewhere. Oh no, there he is. Well, he's there for now. I mean, blast this bit. Ooh, that was a cannon shot. Took care of him. So that's their general done. What's this Archduke Charles Legion garrison? Oh, well, brown coats. Brown coats deserve to be on the militia. Just got some real danger close out of fire. Alright, so you guys are smashed straight into. Oh god! Artillery, stop! Straight into the back of this infantry. Yep, big morale hit to all of the people involved. Routing. Routing. Oh, go on then. If you're going to route that way, my general staff will have a go. No, general. And the bell there. That was a nice, nice capture of a, of a city with a nice win with a nice kill death ratio. Good. So you can occupy the Balkans. Let's rebuild. Let's build new roads. Oh God, that's the Austrians dead, isn't it? Suck it, Austria. You were the target of my eye, and we finally destroyed you. The first target, the first like main nation to actually de be destroyed, I think. So, you, Sigmund, where were you going? You're probably going. Now you get west to help deal with this army at Stuttgart. Um. Then, as we're here, and we've you've near as damn it taken Vilnius. Let's just take it. Oh, I should have demanded surrender. But I did not. Let's build walls because it feels right. You're on the march to Minsk. You yeah. are still replenishing before you march on to Riga. Kamenets is next. Uh, you. Yeah. Still replenishing. You're on the way to Bucharest. You're on your way down to Greece. There's a Russian army down here. The sneaky devils. See, so Nelson's down here blockading, stopping them from moving an army. An experienced army. So you can still replenish in Belgrade. Let's build up my forces. Okay, let's take Kamenets. Driving east. Because it should be noted that actually this campaign is my, is my least successful of all of them. It's quite funny really. When I upload a video, if it's 13 colonies it's usually at the top. Denmark's usually a close second then the United States and then this follows it up so I guess you guys just prefer Empire Total War um, but it's nice to mix it up a bit so let's get some artillery up on top of this hill to fire down into the city and let's get some more artillery to go up here so we want some of our experienced units to march up with the guns then on the left we want Remnants of infantry plus our light infantry to take up a fighting position. Howitzers can also trundle up, and then let's keep our cavalry a big block on the left. General in the centre. Good. So, foot artillery up here, even though it probably won't really get much use. It makes sense. It feels right to at least put it in position. There we go. So then we put these chaps down here. Let's 
march up. My other infantry line, let's move up my cavalry block. Let's move up my general and my howitzers. So you go here. Awesome, because they seem determined to not move. But we will slightly, somewhat, force their hand. Especially when the artillery batteries are in. These might be a bit close. So just get to this ridge line. Scots Greys, now Scots Greys, now. Okay, they're coming in. So let's get them out on the flank. These guns. Two chaps and limber. My veteran division. Actually, you need to march like this up into the town. Let's bring our cavalry back. Because they've also left their spikes behind. The 38th might be about to get absolutely reamed. By, heavy, by our heavy cavalry. So you are nine pounders, you are in range. Send them in. That wasn't quite as heroic as I would have imagined. The seventh horse guards have done a better job. Ah, form square, eh? The you guys are back. Yep, and in comes the artillery. Good, two broken and infantry unit to pull the cavalry back. No point trying to force them to break a square. Especially just a shot on the back so they can't all go around this damn cart. Get in position. Yep, so they're falling back. So let's take this ridge line. Let's right push into the town itself. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. He's fine. Some units way out on the flank. Should storm you guys in here to the town hall. It feels like it might get become a bit of a scrap. Charge the cavalry into the 38th. Pivot this unit. Poor old 38. I mean, they've held up rather well. The charge is pretty diabolical. Glorious Charging. Let's just hold targets for the guns in a minute. Charge, the, charge my cavalry on. It's What's the infantry to keep moving up? You guys have accidentally bumped into an infantry unit. Infantry reporting. 
you guys form a decent fighting position here. Everyone else move to the right. So these guys should, guys should fire into the rear of the combat fairly safely. So let's get one cavalry unit through. Let's get them around the gap. Why take the risk? Couldn't hold on. Fifty fourth holding on, but only just. They are still wavering. As it's a complete rout of Russian Russian forces, and they're killing their own men. An income. Entire army was routing. Oh no, my dragoons, did they hit the spikes? For God's sake, I said to go round them. Ah, oh, let's end the battle there. Stupid, stupid dragoons. That's why I deliberately, deliberately routed you around them. Let's occupy. You're replenishing. Good, you've got a gunsmith, which I can upgrade. take some infantry to go take out this wandering stack. Ooh, it's actually said it's quite close. Let's get you back. Let's get you back for now. Let's just turn off this building. Good. So have we got spies in Bucharest? Infiltrate. So it's one of the last remaining refuges of the, Prus of the Prussian army. But they've got a lot of trouble coming. So let's hit in turn. All our spies and people are on the move. <laughs> Bucharest is completely undefended. The Russians are Russians are creating a sort of strong area around Bucharest, not Bucharest, Kiev. Yep, yeah, they're bringing in more troops. So some of the army from Stuttgart is falling back to Luzern. Awesome. And the Russians are, eh, they're not, that's not a concern. Because we'll draw them into the combat near Vilnius. So we are going to have to crack that territory open. I mean, it'd be nice if the Belgians helped. Oh, the Greeks are on the march. Oh, no, back again. <laughs> Come on. Portugal, yeah, good. I don't care if you take take territory in Europe. Unused land suitable for farming in Two new agents, so let's Building just send you to, help the population to grow over time. Rome. Let's send you to Belgorod. It's got some potential farmland upgrades. Let's fall back. This everyone's replenishing quite nicely. John Oswald, storm up to Bucharest. Alexander's still replenishing. Oh, they can actually replenish outside of their board, well, inside of their borders. So let's just do this to the up to the border. Get ready to drive south. Although we might trigger some 
ambushes. Which are never brilliant. Uh, Beresford. So how many armies have we got up here? Probably would like more. So I'm about to have two with Wellesley. Oh, and you. Frederick Adam. Beresford I might send to Istanbul then. So Wellesley. Were you a siege to Minsk? Um, Wellesley. You catch up here. Frederick Adam go north. Oh, yeah. Still got a long march to St. Petersburg. That should be fine. Let's send my spy here further on. Let's send him up to Novgorod. Oh, you're going to Novgorod. So you go to St. Petersburg then. Still giving us good visibility. Kamenets is is fine. So I'm not worried about right moving on the Prussians yet. It's probably going to be what this guy is going to do. Sit on this bridge and if they try and attack south there's old Gerpa himself. It's a recruitment in England, so is this. Ready for order. This is this army finished. To be honest, I might actually move them up and make and land them in Finland. Not in Finland, St. Petersburg. So let's move them down. Let's embark the fleet. Good. Oh, you can't move anywhere because I've already moved you. Let's also embark the agent. Good. So you've detected a Greek agent, but that's okay. You're meaningless. Your path was blocked, but not anymore. Let's upgrade this commercial port. So you're not that far from being fully replenished. Like, one turn will be most of you, and it'll just be this unit of Connaught Rangers that's upset. Cool. Send so turn one more time. So everyone's still on the march. Including my army of spies. <laughs> I do have a lot of spies. Some reinforcements are coming. I keep forgetting about Switzerland. Oh yeah, it's no good sending armies down to reinforce it now. You're up, you're in for it, mate. And it looks like there might be some troops inside this valley. Oh, and Blucher himself's come to Bucharest. He's come to defend one of the last remaining territories. And the number of times Blucher has died, died, quote unquote. Yep, I can imagine you're pretty concerned, Russia, bearing in mind what's happening. Because our drive through Central Europe was slow and methodical, and now we've actually got... Ooh, okay, can we fall back? Yeah, let's get out of there. Yep, so Luzerne looks like it's very conveniently become a garrison of troops. Ooh, they're going to go for Munich. Munich can defend itself. Here come the Belgians. They sense, they smell blood. They smell territory. They see gains for the kingdom. But let's see if they actually follow it through. So Percival Slaughter's been spotted. Slaughter. Slaughter, Slaughter. Um, yeah, like they'll defend for a while. So let's take Sigmund Werner. I mean, Tyrol, Innsbruck's a bit more of a different matter, especially because I can't reinforce it. So let's send you down here to block Fyodor Fyodorovich Buxhauden. It's tempting to send you up against Stuttgart. 
Ooh, I've been intercepted by this garrison, by this army out here. Hmm. But looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for a battle outside Stuttgart before capturing the Russian territory. <laughs> see you guys. Thank you.